What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Monday, April the 8th, 2024. Today, we're going to be talking about a platform that really we had been impressed with for quite some time, but is going through some changes. And now we've gotten an announcement in their Telegram group that I am feeling a little bit iffy about, quite honestly, this morning. And this is only because of what I have experienced in this space thus far for the last few years. Um, things that we see like this aren't always the best indication of future success. And I just have to be honest about that. We're talking about Saletti this morning. And um, we're going to be looking at their latest announcement in their Telegram group. And you guys can decide how you guys feel about it, but I'm going to share uh, what my initial feelings are. And then, of course, we'll just wait and see what Saletti uh, does and what it's able to do and how much, um, how much support they have from their community. Um, before we get started, I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I am just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking it out in many platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, just make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp, man, because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you, all right? Stay diligent. Stay vigilant in this space and in the comments section as well. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Telegram group where this announcement was posted. Now, yesterday... Uh, on the, well, was this the, no, I'm sorry, this was a couple of days ago when they were talking about how the all operations were going to be back to normal today on Monday. It said during our changes, we had to shut down our system while working on, and that has caused withdrawals to stop working, um, which they said was a bug. Uh, that currently showed a loss, which should have showed only z uh, showed zero, 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 uh, which seems to have only been on one day that they were showing this kind of uh, thing that they weren't comfortable with. Uh, it says all funds are safe. Uh, everything is uh, currently fixed and running properly. This is something that they said on the 6th, right? We will deploy Sunday evening after our AMA. Uh, new Saleti AI version will make things run a lot smoother. Thanks for your patience. Now, I want to just say this. I never had a problem with the initial Saleti AI. It seemed to me that Saleti was uh, wanting to upgrade their systems or felt the need on their end to upgrade their systems, right? Um, but then later on during that day, maybe if, well, that was posted at 12.37 a.m., and this next one was posted at 5.57 p.m. on the same day. I said withdrawal should be successfully working as normal. Sorry for the inconvenience, right? So yesterday, April the 7th at 6.45 p.m., they posted a note that said, Good evening, Saleti AI community. It says, Unfortunately, we are in a tough position with expenses, costing us way too much to continue this week. We uh, So things are on hold. That doesn't mean we're packing our bags and leaving. We thought of every scenario, and we are so close. With the community's help, operations can turn on much faster, and things can run again. All funds are, saved and lo are safe and locked in a mus uh, mutisic, I don't know what a mutisic is, um, that we cannot touch. Total operational cost has exceeded our budget so far. We're just short of ten, just short of ten thousand. In order to continue with our one point two launch, we expect that when payment is made, operations will fully will be fully ready to go in one to three business days. They're looking for approximately nine thousand seven hundred and eighty six dollars. What happened with Saleti AI? You may ask. We had everything to go. Well, I mean, I hope they meant ready to go and ended up losing $122,000 from untrusted developers that were hired in. We're asking for your understanding and your help at this time. You can send funds here and track USDT BEP20 to that address there. And sorry if this comes off the wrong way, they said. All donations are truly appreciated at this challenging time. As the balance continues to increase, the closer we are to running again. Thank you. Now, here's my personal opinion about this. Um, with Saleti's supposed su success in their PAM accounts and, you know, different things that, that like that that they have been talking about for months, how they pretty much never had a loss as far as I can see, right? Um, very minimal losses, if any. It doesn't make sense to me that now they would be needing an extra 10 grand. Um, now, I don't know the, the makings of the back 
office and well not the back office but the technology behind it and what it takes to get it up and running um they said they uh trusted some developers that they should not have trusted and they lost $122,000 um to me this sounds like um they're trying to find the best way to let you guys know they need more money and i don't know how honest they're being right now about their 20 the 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 amount that they need 10 grand or 9786 uh me personally i won't be sending any donations unless there's a way that they can be earned off of anything that you put in the platform you want to be able to earn off of uh it's not just donations going to a platform to help their operations go because they should have their own operational budget, right? Uh, the fact that they're asking for that operational help is a bit of a red flag for me, but I appreciate their honesty. Um, quite honestly, though, um, it won't be me that is making that extra deposit into Saleti uh, to help it get back to whatever state it's supposed to be. All indications this whole time has stated that they're, they're healthy. Um, they never indicated that they needed any help um, with this kind of thing. And they never indicated that they were having any issues with the developers. They said that they had a bug. Um, they said all funds were safe. Um, now, they also said that it was put in some kind of mustig or whatever they called it that doesn't allow them to, um, I guess, have access to the funds. So it would make sense to me that they would just pull from their own PAM account earnings and fix whatever needs to be fixed or that they would have some kind of buffer in place on their back end that if they needed to make some kind of upgrade to a, a 1.2, not even a 2.0. Imagine if this was a Saleti 2.0 and they were trying to um, get it to that place while asking the community for donations. Uh, I don't think that's the best way to go about it, um, but they chose to go about it this way. I don't know the best way to go about this because I'm not a platform owner or anything like a platform owner or anything like that. Uh, this is just my personal opinion. So you guys can do what you feel is best for those of you that are out there in the Saleti AI community. Uh, we do hope that Saleti comes back um, and is able to start paying out again. As far as I can tell in their uh, in their uh, back office here, and I'll show you guys what I see. Uh, it doesn't seem like the website is having too many issues, but when I hit withdraw, it says claim rewards failed automatically. All right. Uh, so you know, with stuff like this, it's hard to tell what's going to happen, but uh, I'm going to give it some time. I am going to remove my link from this point, though. All indications show in my other experiences with platforms that these are the times where platforms don't come back. And I have every ability to put my link back up there if they do come back. Um, and the links aren't needed to make any type of donation that the platform may need. So I don't feel the need to um, personally have my Saleti link up anymore. Um, it wasn't my biggest cranker out by any means, maybe more on the passive level than anything else. Um, it did not seem to garner the type of attention from uh, the folks that watch my channel than some of the other platforms that are out here. So uh, not saying that that is any shade on, on uh, um, Saleti, but it just didn't grow like that here for BOJ on that front. Um, but we have enjoyed our time in Saleti. I don't want that to be mistaken because um, we definitely have. But it's stuff like this that makes you um, decide to say, hey, look, I'm going to pull back. I'm going to, you know, just kind of watch from from the distance that I am right now. I'm not trying to throw any shade on Saleti, but I am trying to educate those that may need that education. Um, in this space, there are not many times that platforms come back at all. So when you see stuff like this, um, some platforms will try to drag you out. Sometimes they'll kind of play on the hope that maybe they'll come back or or they will may even get as specific as to tell you exactly what they need to come back. Um, but it seems to me that if they were having a PAM account that had been having the success that they had been talking about, um, that they would be able to handle these kind of things on their own, regardless of any type of $122,000 loss that they inquire, uh, incurred while um, dealing with developers. Um, it doesn't seem like the developers had access to the uh, monies that they said were safe. Um, so where did they get $122,000 to steal? Um, maybe that was willingly given over. Uh, who knows? I don't know what's going on in the background. Um, but it seems to me that when platforms don't get the success that they 
um, anticipate. They come up with excuses and reasons why uh, they need to tuck their tail and go away. And that's none of our business necessarily, but um, it is our business to journey and chronicle that in our own personal journey. So that's what we're doing right now. I uh, just want to let everybody know that until Saletti figures out how to get their ducats together and 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 figure out how to provide a, a solid um, platform back to the community again, uh, we're going to take our links down. And when they do decide to come back and let everybody know that this is a withdrawable platform, uh, then we can decide to put our links back up. Um, but right now we're going to handle this accordingly. Um, put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow that will allow you and all of your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. All right. Ask me how I know. It is not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you. All right. Stay diligent, stay vigilant in this space and in the comment section as well i do want to note that i made a note i made a, a comment that said they had loss in their panel their win rate was about 70 percent. so i want to make sure that i i clarified that it's not like they won all the time like blatantly winning all the time because uh, that would be a red flag right but um 70 was their win rate um their last recent results show at negative 2.71 and that was on april the 5th it doesn't look like they've posted any trading results since then uh in their pam invest portion of their website that i'm looking at right now so uh it's quite unfortunate but this is the way these platforms go they'll work for a while and then they'll go away like we say it all the time platforms can be here today and be gone tomorrow Hopefully we are learning and moving accordingly with our own risk management strategies and different things of that nature. I'll see y'all on the next one. This is Saletti, and uh, as we get more news, we'll bring it to you. Peace out. See y'all on the next one.